Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to give you guys a walkthrough of my new school, my new school. Um, so I've converted my guest room. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know the guest room used to be like, I had like an office, a little filming space, and then I took all that out and I moved it to my bedroom. Well, I decided to make some changes in the room. Aw, aren't they cute? You guys are so sweet. You guys are distracting. Anyway, I made some changes to my guest room to accommodate my new home office because I didn't want to be making Zoom videos or making lessons online in my bedroom. I just felt like that was kind of strange. Um, and so I decided to make my guest bedroom like sort of an office type thing. Um, home classroom, if you will. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick little view um this is where i push the bed up against the wall and it's kind of hard to see but um yeah it is up against the wall now and so it has provided me with all of this space whereas before the bed was kind of in the middle of the room and there were only like a few feet on each side of the bed and then just like this little area so i have way more room now with the bed pushed and i actually did a read aloud right here in the corner yesterday but my dogs like to come in here and hang out with me while I work um, and so they have kind of just taken over the bed hello Jack hello um, and then I just moved some things around so you know nightstand I put a little oil diffuser in here because um, I'm in here a lot now so I just wanted to have a good smell going um, my guitars in here because I thought it would be nice to like play some calming music for my students um, in the upcoming videos. I have my plastic clock, my giant clock I brought from school because I do need to teach my students elapsed time via the internet, but I'm gonna wait and do that until we're a couple weeks into virtual learning just so that I know everybody's set and everything like that. And then over here I just put, um, I, I kinda wanna get another one of these wire racks and um, use it inside the closet and I'll show you that in a minute but my printer's here and then I did bring home some math manipulatives just so that I can kind of model things for my students. I also have a really cool virtual manipulatives website that I'll share with you guys down below and I am going to share that with my students as well so if I'm using the manipulatives here if they have the computer they can use the manipulatives at home. If not they're just going to have to draw them out. Um, and then I just this is for my next classroom, um, but in here I just have all my like YouTube stuff, so like, you know, memory cards and cords and things like that. And then we pan this way and I have a whiteboard, which when I film my teaching videos, I sit on the floor here and I use the whiteboard. So this is kind of like my teaching background, if you will. Um, I obviously close the window so that it's not so bright. And then I just put my camera on my tripod, or if I'm using my computer to live stream, then I just bring the chair over. But this is what um, my background is for filming. And then this cart I brought from school, if you guys saw my last video. So I just have put all my things on it. So these are just like, you know, everyday supplies. I have an eraser for the whiteboard, post-it notes. This is what I'm currently diffusing in here, it's just some jasmine. Um, whiteboard markers, pencils, scissors, markers, anything I'm really going to need. Um... And then I have this Myers Mint Cleaner. That's just for cleaning the surfaces of my office when I'm done. I have a notebook just because in every video I tell my students to take out their notebooks. And I expect them to do problems in them so or write things in them. So I just have mine so that I can model. And then I have the materials for the week um, for reading. Then I did bring home a pencil sharpener because I thought, well, I'm going to be using pencils, but I don't have a pencil sharpener. So... I brought that home. Moving right along. So this is just my desk area. I have my personal computer and my school computer. This computer I've been using to do screen recording instructions. So like if I want to talk the kids through how to do something on the computer, I can screen record here. I probably could on that one, but I don't know how to yet. So I've just been doing it on mine. And then I've been using like this computer for my Zoom meetings while I work on that computer or vice versa. 
So that's kind of been really nice. I went and got the charger for this computer, so now it's actually usable. Um, and then I just have some things here, like some flowers to just kind of brighten my day. They're kind of wilting. I probably should put them out in the sun for a couple hours, let them get some light. Um, my iPad, which I'm actually going to use my iPad for my Zoom meetings today, just see how it works. Um, and then this is just purely decorative, except for Jennifer, my friend Jennifer, a genuine teaching, she showed me how she made one of these. So she just slides this over her webcam, and then if she's not in the Zoom meeting yet, but it's open, um, this is kind of just there so that, you know, the kids know she is coming. <laughs> um, so just some random things. And then over here is just files, um, things that I need, like, to have on hand right away. So, like, my students' emails and passwords, um, things for my new job that I'm using to plan with, um, documents that are important that I need right now in my life, and then, you know, general stuff. Um, this chair is so old, I would really like a new chair. It's, like, broken. <laughs> Um, I just have some more tools here, so like ring lights, um, tripods if they need to be used. And then in here I just have got all my like crafting stuff. So this is all my Cricut stuff. I've got like laminating sheets and my laminator is here. Um, and then just more like filming tools. I know this isn't classroom related, but we're doing a tour anyway. And then this is the basket my books came in. I'm just saving it because I will return it to school. Um, I was going to put this up and I probably still will. I just haven't had the time to do it yet. This used to be my princess room and I moved everything into the other room so that I could have everything I needed in here. Um, I, I like this because I cleared it out for like actual guests to you. So I have like a air mattress and a pull out crib and then Savannah left some clothes here. But now when my mom and dad visit, when all of this is over, they actually have a closet they can use and everything else is in the playroom closet. So this is my little home office. It's very cozy, I like being in here. It's nice, it's my jam, it's my vibes. And I get a lot of work done in here rather than if I was hanging out in the living room. So this is my classroom right now. <laughs>